Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It is so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow, 2022 has already begun and so much has already happened. So for those of you who do not know me, my name is Lisa Bubari, and by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant have a healing center in the beautiful city of Glendale, California. So one of the things that uh, I was going to talk about today is uh, our BS's. <laughs> yes, uh, BS's, which is our belief systems. What we believe and what, uh, how we function in life. And it all comes down to what our childhood was what our upbringing was how our behaviors habits and everything is formed all because of our own belief system so to start with i want to also share that you can always find and message me and connect with me via my website which is healwithin.com or even elizabubari.com so there's so much that is going to be coming. And I want to start with this. In my book, Heal Thy Mind Body, I have this uh, quote. And as I was uh, coming, um, going through it, I saw this and I'm going, how apropos as to what we are going to be talking about today. And it starts, the people we are in relationship with are always a mirror reflecting our own beliefs and simultaneously we are mirrors reflecting their beliefs so a relationship is one of the most powerful tools for growth if we look honestly at our relationships we can always see so much about how we have created them so, hi, Sido John, how are you? So, in a way, it's, it's a reflection. So, what we want to create tomorrow and to be happy tomorrow, to be successful tomorrow, to be anything tomorrow, or to change a habit and overcome something, do it today. Start today. Live in the now. So, what is it that you want to do? I decided for the next few weeks, especially for the next month, I'm going on a like a detox of sweets and I love sweets. So what instead of saying for the next month, I'm not going to do it. I said just for today, I'm not going to have any sweets just for today I refrain from sweets so when we do it just for today and live in the present that means I'm not worried about what's gonna happen tomorrow I'm not stressing what's gonna bring tomorrow but for today we set a goal for the month and then live for today so a belief system is something that when we think about I want to create something and that is what you think what you desire and what you want and your subconscious mind may have a whole different um, information so when we have a belief system created what we do is to understand when and how it was formed. So in a way, when we do hypnotherapy in order to change a behavior or a habit, I always go back in time to see when that habit started. So we can literally, anyone can be hypnotized. I can even do hypnosis today. You can be hypnotized and do a shift but the part of the hypnotherapy, the aspect of the hypnotherapy comes when we go in and understand 
the connections, the feelings to a certain habit or a behavior, and then when it was formed, how it was formed, and what was the emotion connected to that behavior or belief system. So give me, let me give you an example. We may want to be successful and wealthy, but the belief system coming from childhood, from the upbringing, is probably what the relationship with money is, the relationship of the family with money and wealth, and what was the words spoken in the environment at home. So if we grew up thinking that money is something the riches have a relationship where it came from if it was by fraud if it was by embezzlement if it was this then that's the concept of the child and at home it's about keep the money be safe don't spend the money because that's what father or mother or that's where they come from their relationship with the money because of their family their upbringing so this child this client of mine learned exactly that so the relationship with money was scarcity no matter what she wanted to do and then coming back to scarcity so that's the belief system and coming to me it's like it, I'm talking about a client so I'm bringing this client as a uh, to understand uh, their metaphor and understanding her belief system. It was no matter what I do, I still cannot overcome. So there is this sabotaging myself. I can't get past this. I am. And those are the words. Understanding the words that what we say, understanding the belief system that has been embedded in not only conscious, but the subconscious of this person. So what we do is first evoke it, embrace and acknowledge the reality, the words. And I don't know if you can relate to this and it can be about money, it can be about weight, it can be about any kind of a health system. So you can do all kinds of diets, just like her, go and spend and everything, and then feel bad about spending and take everything back and return it. So it became a cycle. I am not deserving. I am not deserving of this good. I am not deserving of this. Believe it or not, I can share something that it was something I, my friend who was at my house, New Year's Eve, we were, the three of us, my, my friend, she, she was talking and I was talking and my mom, she, she said something and it was absolutely genuine that why would anyone um, spend so much money and invest in horses? that Lisa at one time invested in racehorses. And that's the whole thing. When we looked at each other, because she was one of the people who I, was a part of the um, investors, she said, but this is a lifestyle. It's not investing in the racehorses. It is part of a lifestyle. So when we think of a lifestyle, when we think of being healthy, those are the things on this new year, I want you to sit, take a piece of paper, we've been talking about this, and literally write down all the things you want to accomplish this year all the things you have a desire to create this year and then you break it down and say what am i doing today to come one step closer just for today what would i do to become healthier 
to feel more successful, to feel healthier, one step towards my goal of, uh, you know, in a relationship, in a wealth, in a health, in a uh, success, or in my spirituality. What is one thing that I can do to feel better? So what I am asking you is to realize all the aspects of what you want to hold, what you want to handle, what you want to create, is if you start today and say, what I do is a reflection of all the things that I want were the wordings that I had it. You know, I love it. I write it and I can't find it. <laughs> so, um, yes, it is my book. Everyone is surprised that I say what well, I wrote three books, self-published three books, and so can you. By all means, if there is anything I want you to start believing in yourself. As a matter of fact, January 9th, I am doing a workshop called Break Free of Self Beliefs, Self Sabotaging Beliefs, Break Free of Self Sabotaging uh, Beliefs and Habits and Behaviors. So please click right here, sign up. I know my assistant is going to say, you should have started that. You know, it's not always about that. I believe in, in the method. I believe this is what I do when they say every single day you wake up and what is it that drives you? What drives me is helping you make a change within you. That's what Heal Within came about. I healed within and my entire being, the work I do, heal within through hypnotherapy, helping you overcome habits and behaviors, knowing that you have the power within yourself to heal within, knowing that you have the power to be the success, the power to shift and change habits and behaviors because no one else can do it for us. But if I can guide you, if I can help you do it faster than years and years of therapy, and so be it. So sign up for two hours. This two hours can truly make a difference. And if it's not for you, by all means, share it. Give it, gift it to someone and let them be it. I will put the link over here. I've been promoting it and you can go to my website to either lazybubari.com or healwithin.com. You will see it. It says right there, January 9th, 3 p.m. It's on a Sunday. If you give yourself two hours, believe it or not, I will guide you through my 3E method so that you can break through beliefs and negative habits and be free step into the new you and what does it mean everything you want to create so the people we are in relationship with are always a mirror so think of it am i mirroring what you want to hear did you just come right here because you needed to hear this that's right hi louisa mm, how are you my dearest Adrian, you look good, sounding great. Thank you so much. And set up, isn't it amazing that sometimes we meet someone in life and nothing, nothing in life is by chance. I think we truly come into this world. It's a weaving world. It is, we manifest certain people into our life to be our mentors to be our guides to be our teachers or just to be a friend and as i mentioned so many of my clients have become friends of mine and i'm still in relationship with them and i truly care for the relationships that i create 
So, but the first relationship you have and I have is the relationship within. The relationship with money within. My body that starts with me, how I view myself, how I hold myself, how I present myself, and it's the same for you. So today, on this day, the first of Heal Talk Tuesday, and I, oh my God, wait until you get to hear all the real talks that it's coming up in Facebook and we're starting my interviews that I'm going to be interviewing amazing folks right here for you. Click, be part of it and the original show that it's coming back with Chris. So there's so much happening and every single one of them is bringing value for you. Why? Because I truly believe in order for us to heal within, because I did so, is how I felt empowered and I want you to feel empowered so that you can make a difference in someone else's life. If you don't feel good about yourself, if you are not the success, if you are not feeling healthy, then let's do it together. That's all. I am here to be a bridge, to help you, guide you, empower you, so that you can show up, stand up, and speak up for yourself. Because you matter. I know I do. Every single day, just for today. If you even sign up on my newsletter, you get daily affirmations. Every single day, when you click your phone, and you open your phone, you get daily affirmations. You sign up for that and you will get that too. So there is so much coming your way all because I believe in you and I am here to serve you. So today, the relationship is one of the most powerful tools for growth. I just saw something on Facebook and it was so apropos for this moment. A flower needs the rain as much as the sun. So it also needs all the gratitude, all the positive words, as much as we must be open to listen and be humble for critiques that help us elevate ourselves. And with that, I want to say, if there is one difference that you are ready to make for yourself and for someone else, even by Heal Talk Tuesday, if you have been empowered, let me know. Thank you for being here. So let us share one thing you can change today. Just one thing you can add to your life and one thing you are ready to make a difference with it. And with that, I thank you and I bid you an incredible day, an incredible year. I'm so excited for this year. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it together. And to that, cheers. Ah, joy to you. This is Lisa. You may always contact me, find me at Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa at healwithin.com or Lisa Bubari. Yes, at any time. Until then, until next week, where I will be interviewing an incredible person. So watch out. Tune in. Let's do it together. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If 
if you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.